that's what comes to life up to tell you that. Poets live on foreign soil. For one's homeland, where one can take roots, spread leafy limbs to the sun and rain, celebrate being alive in wild, untamed ways, to feel free to laugh and cry out, to shed tears of ecstasy and sorrow, even at the same time. Not to feel police, for they are foreign in a poet's world. Only point oh 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 seven one two percent of the police are writing poetry. Not to feel investment bankers, for they are calculators of rates of return, of capitalization rates, of rediscount rates, of foreign investment where people are cheap, where iron ore is cheap, where rainforests are cheap, health and life are cheap. A poet lives on foreign soil. Poets sing of love, of mystery, of mating, of kisses in the forest after dark, a forest bureaucrats will burn and chop into charcoal and particle board. A poet sings on a mountaintop to the sun on the horizon. Butterflies on leafy petals and the crescent of the moon, the screech of owls, the arching dive of eagles in search of wild food, of crevices under rocky crags where tiny mice survive. But others want this mountain for themselves, to shave it clean, to scratch its throat with drill bit tools, to hack away, to make the mountain cough out half its teeth, to get U-235, uranium-238, uranium-236, and 237, to menace all the solar system with bombs as big as moons of, ne moons of Neptune and Saturn, with laughter cracking up the size, side of Mercury toward the sun where poets explode in flames and melt their ballpoint pens, still poised between bones of fingers. A poet lives on foreign soil. A poet feels warmth, not heat. A poet feels coolness, not frozen waste. Murmuring sounds, not shrieking chainsaws. Soft whispers, not power presses crushing cars. Poets live on foreign soil, foreign soil, soil that is unearthed made alien to itself, its history, its seed, its flowers and its fruit, made alien to us, our soil, our lives, our immortality, our immortality. Poets live on foreign soil. April 1992.